Hello everyone, my name is Jason Martin and I am a technician here at Codesite. And today I will show you two ways to sync a document library, library from your SharePoint site to your desktop uh, using SkyDrive Pro. First of all, if you'll just open your web browser, I'm going to go with Internet Explorer, but feel free to go with whatever you're more comfortable with, Google Chrome, Firefox, etc. And once your web browser opens, if you'll locate your URL, and just enter your company SharePoint site and select enter. And now that that's loaded, it's prompting me for my Office 365 login credentials. And these are normally the same as your Outlook credentials if you're not familiar with logging on to a SharePoint site. So just try those if you're not familiar with this. Now I've got into my SharePoint site and I'm going to come over here to the left and find the SharePoint's icon or this may be your company's logo and under it I'm going to locate the libraries tab and select it and this will open and show all the libraries made available to me so I'm going to go through and look at the names find the libraries I want to sync and I'm going to go with accounts payable first so I'll just hover over it and click the library to open it and now that's open my library you can see I'm in accounts payable I'm going to go over here to the, to the top right hand corner of my screen and select sync and I'll get sync this library to your device for easy access I'll select sync now and that will prompt me to the second pop-up select sync now and this should prompt you to a third pop-up that is going to say show my files select that and this is open my file explorer and as you can see when we first came in we had two blue spinning arrows which indicated the files and folders were in the syncing process but now they show a green check mark indicating they have fully been synced successfully so now I'll come over here to the left locate the SharePoint tab click it and this will show the actual library I've just synced to my desktop accounts payable It's showing a green check mark indicating the whole library has fully been synced and that's one way to do it so now I'm going to close that and I'm going to show you a second way to sync a library so I'll simply go back and I'll select the second library I wish to sync I'm going to go with documents I'm going to hover over documents click it to open now you can see I'm in the documents library and at the URL across the top here I'm going to click this site address to highlight it and then right click it copy it then in the bottom right hand corner of my screen where my clock and calendar is located I'm going to find the show hidden icons upper arrow I'm going to click that and locate the two blue clouds which is the SkyDrive Pro icon and hover over it and right click and then I'll find sync a new library select that this first pop up selects sync a different library instead I'll come in here and find this URL delete this address out of it now right click and paste the address I originally copied from up here and then select sync now again this should prompt us to a pop-up saying show my files I'll select show my files it will open my file explorer and as you can see we had the two blue arrows indicating they were syncing now green check marks indicate they're fully synced and I'll come back over here to my SharePoint tab on the left and I can view all the libraries I'm synced to accounts payable and documents are showing green check marks meaning they are fully synced so now I'll close out of this and minimize that and say I synced these libraries yesterday and I've just logged into my desktop the day after uh, now I'm going to locate my file explorer open it find the SharePoint tab open it and here's the libraries I successfully am synced to and I can open them I can select a file or folder view it go in and this is a great way it just makes files and folders more easily accessible to your desktop from SharePoint you don't have to keep logging in uh, and finding your credentials so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to unsync a library from your desktop to SharePoint if for whatever reason you want to stop syncing you need to make more space you're no longer on a certain project 
So in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, again where your clock and calendar is located, find the show hidden icons upper arrow, select it, locate the two blue clouds which is the SkyDrive Pro icon and right click, find stop syncing a folder, select that, and this will open up and show all the libraries you are currently synced to. And for example, I'm going to select documents. I will select stop syncing and I will get this pop-up telling me this will permanently stop syncing documents. Do you want to continue? I'll select yes. And that should have successfully stopped syncing the documents library to my desktop. But a way to check is I'll come back over here to File Explorer and open it. Find my SharePoint tab and open it. And as you can see, these were the libraries I was originally synced to. And I'm still synced to Accounts Payable but my documents library is no longer showing a green check mark indicating it is no longer synced to my desktop. I can still go in the documents library and open up spreadsheets and documents, folders, etc. Uh, the only thing is now that they're no longer being synced they won't be updated. So you can hang on to that or you could simply right click and delete the library you're no longer synced to out of your file explorer. Again, though, this is two ways to sync a SharePoint library to your desktop using SkyDrive Pro. I hope you found this informative. If you have any further questions, there will be a phone number as well as a help.com site at the end of the tutorial. And I thank you for your time.